your New Year's resolution is to get Jen Aniston's lean body, you don't need lipo. You need Mandy Ingber. As you are <laughs> the IT yoga instructor. Want to get Jen Aniston's body? Who doesn't want to look like Jennifer Aniston? Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> Mandy, nice to meet nice you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So you obviously practice what you preach. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I know people are always like, I want Jennifer Aniston's body. I'm like, what about my body? <laughs> my body just sort of got stronger. Everything just got stronger. I want to show you something. <laughs> Wait, stay there. Don't. Go anywhere. really which is why I called it yoga philosophy yeah. it's it's you know it's really about starting exactly where you are yeah. and loving the body that you have there you go because mm -hmm. you know what I really believe that if you if you start really caring for your body and loving your body as it is it starts to fall into place start improving. Mm -hmm. like yeah. your natural body now a lot of people don't feel like yoga is for them because either it gets boring and I, I I mean I'll be honest I sort of feel that way sometimes I feel like I'm sitting there and I want to do if I'm gonna work out I want to do something All right, we want to have fun we yeah. want to play around so we're gonna start with a sun salutation when you're exercising and particularly when you're practicing yoga there are always three energies at work and I actually think that this is true in life there's the energy that's pulling you down that's gravity so I want you to feel that gravity at the same time, there's this energy that's lifting you up. I call that inspiration. It's the thing that gets you up in the morning. Gravity's sort of like light planting you down. Inspiration is what's lifting you up. And you're in the center of those two energies. So I want you to try to feel that. From here, we're going to go into tree. The key to balance is not to think about anything. Good luck. What is your philosophy when it comes to yoga? Spinning the most positive attitude you possibly can. Like, I can feel my body getting stronger, you know, instead of like, oh my god, this is killing me. She kind of combines fitness with, you know, yoga. It's not just all one thing. So you get a total body workout. For example, start out with the chair pose, which benefits the big muscle groups. Now arch your back a little. You're starting to feel this in your um, legs a little bit? Yeah. Then after holding the position, follow it with a set of squats to work out the smaller muscles. This is for those good I have a mantra that goes with this one. It goes, I have a great ass. I have a great ass. <laughs> Yoga philosophy is actually a word that I made up. So I took two things that I really like. One is yoga. And yoga in and of itself means union, right? It's the bringing together of two things. So it can be the bringing together of the spirit and the body. Um, it can be the masculine and feminine sides of ourself. Um, it can be um, our dark and our light. And then the philosophy part is another thing I like to do, which is I love to, I love to observe and um, understand my life through experience. So when it comes to the body, everybody is on equal ground. There is no one who is so in love or so wealthy or so famous that they don't have to take care of their body in some way. We're all on equal playing ground here. Everyone has a body that they need to take care of and no one else can do it for you.